What's up guys, for once having here with another video. <clears throat> and um I'm gonna explain why I'm looking like this. Um it's not because of a wedding this time. You would think. But anyway, um so basically, not my last video, but the one before that. It's called um which one called? Saddest day of my life. I didn't remember because I haven't uploaded in a long time. It's called Saddest Day of My Life. And in that video, I'm talking about how I'm at the hospital and my what also known as my great grandpa was well in the hospital and we are going to see him to most likely say the last goodbyes. He might die. But he survived. And <laughs> You know, everybody was happy because he was able to make it out. But, I don't know, let's say within like a couple weeks, he wasn't doing too good again. And it's not like he could just magically get a mess and if they were that easy, they would have done it the, the, the first thing was the hospital. And it's a little bit different. I think, I remember, he was 92. So, at that point, he was already tired. To be honest, he, he he was ready to go. Some of us weren't ready to let him go. I was personally, but some of us just they couldn't. They didn't have the heart. So they they let him wait until he eventually did pass. Passed not this week. He passed last Thursday night at twelve a.m. Well, technically wasn't. Technically wasn't. That, that there's night. It was technically Friday morning, but it was still Thursday. It's still down on Thursday, okay? I died on Thursday, and for my for that like entire day, the rest of that week, my entire family was out of it. And they no, I guess that man would be themselves since. I think it's kind of depressing. I personally. Even though he he was gone, and it's not that I didn't care that he was gone, I really did. You know, I don't know, I, I never really go over this stuff because I'm not a really big family person. But, I've only had three great grandparents in my entire life, me being alive. And within the last, since COVID started, including the recent one, that's only, I've lost two already and I only have one left so the difference between now and then is my last one I didn't even say goodbye last thing I remember was sitting down with them at dinner and eating it's the last thing I ever did and after that they were gone and it's not like I don't care about him now. The difference is that, like, I didn't get to say goodbye last time. I, I didn't get to say goodbye last time. They kind of just took her and then they never really brought her back. So, the difference is this time, I had to say goodbye. Twice. So, the difference is that me being able to say goodbye, not having any regrets this time, it makes it a lot easier to say to let him go. But as much as I really, uh, hold on, give me a second. Appreciate like being able to say goodbye and stuff. It still hurts. It hurts a lot, and. As much as people, some people can't get over it, and probably never will, because he was a dad, a grandpa, and a great grandpa, so they're gonna be like that for a while. I personally am okay with it, and I'm kind of already moved on from it. Still miss him, but not as much as other people do. So, 
What I'm trying to say is that, like, as much as you love somebody and you always want them to be there with you, you also got to know when you got to let them go. Last, like, like, I remember, I think it was 92. He was 92. He was old. He was tired. And, you, and most of us said one of his daughters was just trying to, like, keep him alive for as long as he can. And he was tired. He wanted to go. The only reason he was alive, he was alive so long is because he was waiting for another one of his daughters and one of his grandkids. That's the only thing he was waiting for. And then he was gonna, he was gonna let go. He they couldn't make it on time, but he did try. The, the point is, is that like, you can't hold on to somebody if it's just their time to go. As much as I wanted him here, yeah, never. I've been with him since birth. I grew up with him. And I've only been alive for 11 years, but so far as I can tell, death is, sucks for not only the person's dying, but the people around them, you know? And, now explain the reason I'm dressed like this. It's because I went to the funeral today. And I know this sounds jacked up, but I didn't really cry. I mean, I cried once, but it's when I had to look at him in the casket. It's not, uh, again, I feel like, I, I know people know that I do care, but I just feel like it's kind of jacked up, and, but I don't really know that I care. I do really do care. It's just that... It's not that I've lost a lot of people. People have come and go in my life, whether they're dying or they're leaving. But people that just... They don't stick around forever. Whether it's death, whether it's they, they just can't be around, whether for any reason they just... They're not there anymore. You can't control that. Whether as much as you want it to, or as much as that you wish they can be there, they might never be there again, for whatever reason. And, re and like, throughout my life, I've had a lot of that. I mean, well, they're not death mainly. It's mainly, like, either me moving schools, or going to different places, or them going to different places, and then I'm never going to see them again. I have family that I'm probably never ever going to meet because of the decisions that they made before I was even born. Or they were born. Or I was born. And I'm never going to see them because of the decisions that they wanted to make. And whether I got to know them or not, some people say they're cool. They're really funny. I had a great grandparent I never got to meet. But I heard that he was a good guy, so mm, that's that's what I remember about him. Like, not the bad things, and you know I do care about death. It's just that sometimes you just gotta learn to let it go and to be strong for not yourself, not only for yourself but for other people, because if you're gonna be depressed for the rest of your life because of one person or multiple you're never gonna do anything with your life it's just gonna be there and whoever left or is gone now you're gonna they're gonna be disappointed for you to waste your life on them personally I think that if I You know, hope it never happens. But if I were to die in any way possible, for any reason, I wouldn't want people to be stuck on my death. So much as I say I, I would want them to, I really do want them to go move on, live their life. Because I feel like I'm responsible for wasting someone's life. They're, they're, they're literally wasting life on me. I'm not even here. So, 
The point is that if someone were to ever die, I kind of guess I don't take a lot of time on it. So I kind of try to move on as quick as I can and be strong for everyone else around me. So I say goodbye, but the problem is that like being having to deal with it it's just a lot i don't really show it because honestly i'm not a very emotional person a lot of people can tell that but it's a lot to take in you know so for me to just move on it, it is kind of easy but it's hard at the same time because like I said, I've grown, I've grown up with people, and, and they're just gone. So... As many people say life is short, it's not really that short, it's just that you never know when it's gonna be gone. When the people that are closest to you are gonna just disappear, or when the people that you've grown up with are just gonna eventually go. Like I said, for any reason, it doesn't necessarily have to be death. It could be, they just have to go. It doesn't necessarily have to be death. So, it's not that it's short, it's just that you never know when life is just gonna throw a ball at you. You never know. It could, yeah, a million things. You never know how it's gonna hit you. But, when I got from a movie, I don't remember very much from what it is, but I've really been sitting on it for a while since it, since it happened. It's not about how much you can hit, it's about how hard life can hit you and you keep moving. That's a quote that I really had in my head. And it really does make sense. If you get hit, it really is about how much you can take and still get up. How much you can take and still keep moving. Without having to get hit one time by one thing and still be done. You shouldn't take it like that. You should try to move on as best you can. Because as much as I know, They would have wanted you to suffer. But I lost. So. That's just my point of view of life. Whether it's death or any reason that people are just gonna come and go you never see them again. You gotta keep moving. Whether for it's a short amount of time, whether for it's a long amount of time, just keep going. Because you never know. There could be a million things that could happen in your life and just make it amazing. I personally have thought a lot of things were the end of it. I've had Two grandparents die, I've had friends leave, I've had my best friends, also known as like animals, they've died. I've had things die, I've had things go, I've had things not come back, people not come back. My life isn't that hard, as much as I say it is. It's not. <laughs> well, look at me, man. I mean, I have two houses because my parents are not together. But even though they're not, or even 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 just even though that like things are not gonna ever come perfect for me, people around me have made my life amazing just for being around. I've learned how to play games. I've learned how to be get good at the games. I've, I've practiced 
And I, I do YouTube, man. I do TikTok, too. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but I do TikTok. I do so many things. And I, I go to... <laughs> I have gone to elementary school. I'm in middle school. I've been able to do so many things in my life. And it's just little things that hit me. You know, my parents aren't together. I've lost people. People have disappeared or just left. But I've still been able to keep going. Whether how hard is I get hit or how hard life hits me, I'm still going. Because it's not because I want to give up. People that have disappeared or have died or gone or left, I feel like they'd want me to keep going. Not because I don't want to go. I feel like they would want me to. That's what's going to keep me going. So, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, so the best part about it is that whether you have a really bad day, a really bad year, a really bad month, a really bad week, whatever you, whatever you have, whatever tragic event, or tragic tragic thing that ever happens in your life, is that even though life is extremely painful in different ways, there's always little things. They're gonna keep you going. Just little things. I have... I have you guys, you two, TikTok, friends, a girlfriend, an awesome girlfriend for that fact, who support me and done so many things for me. That's the best thing, honestly, about it. I don't know if the white you flicker, flicker off or not. Can't really tell. But my point is that, like, my dad, my mom, my regular grandparents, not great because I only have one left. My grandparents, my cousins, just everybody in my life, they've been able to do things with me or for me that's just boosted me to like where I am now. As much as I say, I don't need you or I can't do, I can do things way without you. I don't really think I could. I feel like without everyone that I have right now, I think I literally fall apart. So. Just appreciate the little things, man. Whether it's a thank you card every day, a new thing on the game, a new friend, completing an assignment in school, getting good grades, just the little things, you know? You're not gonna always get what you want or what you need for anything that matter, but you just gotta appreciate the little things that are gonna keep you going. Whether it's anything, to be honest. Anything, any little thing that you enjoy in your life. I have millions of little things that keep me going every day. I got like I said, I have an awesome girlfriend that I talk to almost every day and just supports me and makes me feel good on myself before I, I even take off to school. And my dad talks to me every morning, well, almost every morning. Makes me laugh one, a couple times. He just talks about how, just little things. And I think I'm gonna cry today. Well, than other. But there's still things like that that, you know really get me through my day. My mom. I always say that I don't like Or I love, or like, I don't love, but I do love them a lot. As much as I don't show it, or refuse to show it. I appreciate our little talks we have, like, the left and right, or our jokes we have with each other. They mean my parents, but they're also not like my best friends. Whether they say they're not, 
They really are. And they help. I mean, they should. Always have my back. And I'll appreciate them having my back. Because this was little things with the family. This was gonna keep you going. I wasn't alone today. I had the eyes and feels all there. Give me the okay to cry. I just couldn't. So here I am now, finally crying alone. But it's just those little things that keep me going every day. I have a stepdad and a stepmom that are amazing. Makes you say I don't like them sometimes. Not really, but sometimes I do. They're cool. I love having them around. And they make life as easy as, easy as they can for me. Not too much to ask, but I, st but I still just can't really give them what they need. It's like the smallest things. Something like fucking jerk. So. I don't know, sometimes you get the little things that, you know, keep me going every day. I even have a brother coming soon. And two sisters. Stepsisters. Or sisters. They're my sisters, right? Whether I call them my step or not, they're my sisters. And I'm like, I guess I don't like them sometimes, or hate them or they're annoying I don't like having them around they're cool they're cool to have around you know not being alone after life you know being the only child and growing up alone having to go through everything alone the only, the only thing I really had was cousins so other than that dog over there you know for somehow related to me, according to my mom. But, being able to have some type of sibling is really cool to have around, so. And then my cousins are awesome. Yes, I mean, also, <laughs> especially, you know, he's awesome. As much as people don't like him sometimes. He's a good brother, a good, you know, pretty good father. He's, he's a lot. My, my papa, my abuela, they're awesome. And my nana, my other papa, they're awesome. They're really, like, cool to have friends. Makes me complain about them sometimes. They're really cool. My entire family is cool. Makes me complain. I have one big family, so they're just cool to have around. So, yeah, um, that's basically all I want to talk about today. Like I said, just an update of what's happened so far in my life. <sighs> and my last quote for today, because we've talked about a lot of things, it's like a pretty long video, I'm not gonna lie, um, is that just keep moving, whether I'm gonna talk about it like five times in the video. Whatever hits you or whatever brings you down to your lowest, you, you gotta come back up. And it's really about how far you can go, get hit, and still keep going. That's, that's the good thing. Um, but yeah. Um, I just want to say that it's okay that anything that ever happens to you or anything that is going to happen or has already happened, it, it's going to be okay. And you ever tell us you're different? Well, tell them to come talk to me because literally everything's going to be okay. Some way, some, some things in the Help you, okay? Whether it's this video, 
whether it's family, whether whether it's anybody, friends, dogs, anybody, literally anything to help you throughout any point in practical event in your life that's gonna hurt you, it's gonna be okay. And that there's always gonna be someone there or something or any just anything in general. Someone or some things or anything's gonna be there to care for you. They're gonna help you. They're gonna get you through it. So just remember that that it's gonna be okay. Things are gonna hurt. Things are gonna really, really keep you down. Things are gonna get you really happy, make you feel good about yourself, or just in general. Whether, however it happens, the point is that it's gonna be okay. Whether, whatever happens, there's gonna be something, someone there, and it's gonna be okay. And you shouldn't have to be afraid of opening up or bottling things up because bottling things up is just gonna hurt way more when you're finally letting out than you're just letting it out day by day. It's gonna be okay. So, final words for this video, other than my outro, are my family. All of my family, in-laws, and blood, not blood, doesn't matter. Thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to anybody who's ever talked to me and supported me throughout my life. Thank you. Whether I've said it or not, well, I'm saying it now, and I mean it. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that's ever been there. So, yeah, that's about it for the video. So, honestly, I would say make sure to comment, like, and do everything. But honestly, it's up to you today. You can sub, you can like, you can put the notification bell. Honestly, you do you. You can dislike for all you care, for all I care. Honestly, do whatever you want for this video. But next video, I'm different, especially. So, today's a free day. Do whatever you want. And I hope you enjoyed my little update and a little bit of my, you know, life. I mean, I look good, you know. I look nice. I think I look pretty bad, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really look that good. But just let me know. Um... Let me know how you feel right now. Everybody, let me know how you feel. Anybody that's ever watched the video, let me know how you're feeling. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's 4178, signing off. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed.